Hello, Scorpio. Happy fucking birthday. I have only said that to you guys because you guys were like my second favorite sign other than myself. Welcome to your beginning November read of this current motherfucking year, y'all. Halloween's coming up. We get to watch a little bit of the Devil's Playground with y'all. And y'all get to have a blast. Scorpio, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. Just boop your nose and away we go. Right? What do we got for you, Scorpio? Addicted. Honestly, for you, Scorpio, that just looks like a fashion statement on a Monday. I'm just putting that out there. Oh, and I drank something cold, and now I'm freezing. Fuck. Ugh. Oh my god. That's not it. Skip it. There it is. Addicted. Moon phase. Waxing crescent. Stage depressant. Depression, right? Kind of like the um, stages of death, right? <clears throat> it's not about choosing the chains. It's about choosing them again and again. The visual speed. Oh, my God. If I could talk today. Thank you. The visual seed. White sparkly hair over a scarred, melted, cast down face. Is the hand melting or already long gone? A chain chokes his neck and many spikes pierce the back. More like the spikes come out of his back, but you know, whatever. Um, sentence. Freedom was the worst of lies. I could have been a slaver or a slave, but I chose the latter. Going dark, addicted to something? To drugs, to money, to love, to company, to evil, to pain, to safety, to making simple everything... To making simple everything that can be deep? What? To making simple everything that can be deep. Oh, okay, okay, I get it now. To making simple everything that can be deep. Or like, you know, um, turning everything that could be a deep conversation into something a little bit more simplistic or small talk, I reckon, is what they're trying to fucking say. Oh, they have in common the feelings of being lost if we are ever without it. Freedom is not a friend, as it promises responsibility, failure, challenges. Failure can, fa the freedom can be taken, can be broken, can be stripped naked and whipped and abused. Slavery is a much cleaner choice. If you give it all away at the beginning, how can they take it away from you? So, how can it be that, how can it be that is so easy to believe? This book with its grammar, how can it be that it is so easy to believe that freedom is an illusion? And that it's so hard to feel that slavery is illusion as well. That the sky has a limit, but the chains that have ones as well. Have one as well. Have, how about ones, because it's plural. But the chains have one as well. The irony of it all, when we, lost, when we lose the desire, much before losing the will to fight, is that, that actually... is that it is actually possible to reach for the sky even when bound by chains. This one had, okay, that one actually kind of fucked me up a little bit because of how things were written. Sorry about that, Scorpio. There was a lot of shit that, like, this book has really weird grammar. And I'm not, like, a grammar Nazi, but it's like, you know, if I'm reading it and it has me a little bit confused, it's just like, it's not right. I don't know. Which is fucked up because I've never passed an English class that I can write like a motherfucker. Does that make sense? I don't know. I know how to write very elegantly, but I don't know what an indefinite phrase is. Apparently. What is that? Any? I don't know. I don't, no, don't an, actually, don't answer that question. I don't need to know what an indefinite phrase or whatever it is. is. Or is it infinite? It doesn't matter. What's your energy? The Ace of Pentacles reverse. That's a terrifying offer, and I don't think you should take it. It's back as turd. Like, you want this pentacle? Come get it. You, you'll also be nice and warm and toasty in here, too. I promise you. Situation is the three of wands as well, Scorpio. Like, should you keep hanging on or should you let it go? Your wants and wishes is the sun reverse. There might be a pairing with a Leo or a Gemini. 
could have been awesome sauce for a minute and then it just separated. However, your obstacle and challenge is the anxiety of it all, right? Your fear and rejection. Two swords. Make a fucking decision. Well, okay. These two fell out. You know, like, there's a risk involved in, like, making a choice. Because either you're going to dig up an onion and cry about some shit, or you're not. One of the two. But it's a risk you're almost willing to take because you know that the benefit's there, I think. Let's see. Catalyst as well as the final result. The magician poisoning someone's fucking drink by sticking his finger in it after he's had it in his booty hole for no freaking reason. But, you know, it's none of my business. I just work here. Anyway. Scorpio. This offer, you're recognizing that it is a dragon that will devour you, will overpower you. And it's the anxiety that gets to you, you know? And now you have a fear of making a choice, but I think you don't have a choice. Because the three of wands is over here. We're trying to decide some shit. About a, the sun where two, you and somebody else are probably not happy. And someone's going around poisoning people's cups. While nobody's looking. Like the shadows are there, but I doubt they're paying attention to it. Let's see. Energy. Take a leap of faith. Now, mind you, the Ace of Pentacles in this deck, I don't trust it because it's a dragon. It's not offering help. It's saying, I'll do what you want, but I'm going to eat you afterwards. You just don't know it yet. Like, it's a it's devious kind of power. It's a power that takes you over, much like addiction, right? Someone took a leap of faith with this. You are. And now they're kind of stuck between feeling like they can't choose the real world and they have no control of the one that they have. Right. The situation, Scorpio. Two swords reverse once again, and unable to make a decision based emotionally, right? And you're gonna have to go come out of wherever the fuck you were, all like tattered and everything, to figure out why that is. Like, there's something keeping you in place, and it's an emotional reason, right? And you're trying to figure out why that is. And we're going to see why that is. But you're recognizing that that's the actual symptom of the cause of why you're, you know, a little stuck in what's going on, I feel. You got a lot of twos, dude. Like, I'm just saying, you got a lot of twos. So let's see. Wants and wishes with the sun reverse. You know, you're trying to figure out what's fair between the two of you. Because right now it seems like you guys might not be getting along or whatever. Uh, someone let their hand go in the Fenrir's mouth. Tyr could his hand cut off. In case you don't know that mythology. You know, um... What was it? Um, the Norse gods had gotten a prophecy about Fenrir, which was one of the children of Loki. An animal, a beast, an anomaly. But he was the most normal looking animal there is. He was just a big ass wolf. But it's like, I think he doubled in size every day or some shit. I can't remember. But it was legend that one day he would, I think, kill Odin. So all the Norse gods decided, like, you know, we're going to tie him up in this little thing or whatever. And they had already tried tying him up before. He got out of it. And this time he kind of noticed that it was a different thing. I want to think it's the Glepnoper or whatever it was pronounced right. And what happened was, like, he was looking over this, and he was just like, hey, um, if I can't get out of this, I'm gonna bite one of y'all's hands off. Someone's gonna stick their hand in my mouth, and if I can't get out of it, I'm taking your fucking hand. So Tyr decided, yeah, I'll do it. Like, I'll stick my hand in there, and he stuck his hand in there, and as soon as Fenrir couldn't get out of it, because it worked like a Chinese finger trap, the more he tried to pull out of it, like, the tighter got. So as soon as he figured out he couldn't get out, he got his hand cut off. Bit off, I mean. So someone acted like Tear, and then they got their hand bit off. You might have been looking for fairness. I mean, I mean, like, that was fair. Let's be clear. It was a fair fucking trade. I can't get out of this trap. I take your fucking hand for tricking me, right? It was fair, but someone had to lose something in order to understand why it was fair with this, uh, sun reverse, right? The obstacle and challenge right here at the Nine of Swords reverse. 
Someone's not sacrificing whatever vices they got. And they're staying in a hell of a relationship with the devil card. Possibly Capricorn, right? Fears and rejection, Scorpio. The Two of Swords. Why are you freaked out about it? Because uh, maybe some bad shit got made up on the way. Maybe someone went out of their way to do something naughty. You know. And definitely did not work in their favor. That's a double nope. <laughs> it's like, that's a double nope. It's like, whatever it is with this, like, choice emotionally, you feel like you set yourself up and now nothing will work out in your favor. Which you should never think that. Nothing's ever permanent or solid. There's, you should always have hope that you'll still have a chance. At least that's how I see it anyway. Always have hope. Or faith, whatever you want to fucking call it. Just always believe. Believe in yourself. Alright. How this shit started, how it'll end, come full circle, the magician. Yeah, whatever this person was brewing up, it changed something and it caused a fucking disaster. And all they could do is blame it on themselves. Jesus Christ. Okay. Hmm. Mm. Sorry, I had to give my husband smooches. <laughs> Alright, so let's clarify what's coming up after all this shenanigans, right? <clears throat> yeah, you kind of realize this is just a hung up scenario that really doesn't help anything, and it's really time to let that shit go. Like, stop trying to pour water on the fucking bird so it can't fly. Just let it go. Just let it go. <laughs> Dump the water, release the bird. Be free. <coughs> the situation right here, Scorpio. Um, you might end up drunk and falling off your horse. You probably get your face scraped up getting dragged all over fucking town. You know? And it wasn't beneficial to you because it's just kind of like you want to act like you didn't see it coming, but it, it was coming. It was coming, man. I don't know why you're acting like it wasn't coming, but it was coming. Don't know why you're acting a little bit surprised, you know? Ugh. Wants and wishes. We got the justice card, and, you know. Yes, it was a fair situation, but it was still a fucked up thing to do, because there's no justification. <laughs> it wasn't justified, you know? Like, yeah, it was fair that, like, Tyr lost his hand for Fenrir, like, um... You know getting caught up in the Gelnopler or something like that. But at the same time, like, uh, was that really justified? Because that's a hand. It's not like you didn't get out later, Fenrir. Well, technically he hadn't because, like, that's why it's Legend of Earthquakes and shit. That's the whole mythology with him. Even though he does eventually kill Odin. But that's because they fucked with him in the first place. So that's their, that's kind of their fault for, like, doing this shit. And It's like that one dude. I was talking about before with the sun or whatever. I can't remember who it was, but you know. Mm. But you're making excuses for why it's not justified. Or you're making or you're letting it fly. You know? You're letting the bird fly. You're just like, oh, it's okay, I'll just make an excuse to let it keep going and shit. But it's like it's not justified. You know, there, there's fairness, and then there's justification. You know, they're not the same thing. You know, justice isn't always fair, and fairness isn't always just, but I feel like you recognize that it's not a just thing to do, but you're still letting excuses fly to keep it going, much like over here. And you're ignoring why you shouldn't be doing that, but, you know, it's whatever. The obstacle and challenge calls for someone to stop looking in their own fucking book for excuses, because um, it's leaving them bitter and shit. Scorpio, I feel like whoever this possible higher authority is who talks to you and shit, it's kind of a dickweed, kind of doesn't listen to anybody, kind of doesn't care, kind of thinks they don't have to, which is like you kind of fucking do, you know? Like, I don't want to be your mom, but you kind of do, son. 
you know? Let's see. Obstacle. Okay. Well, no, it's the fears of rejections anyway. Um, you're going to have to take what you can and walk. Take what is yours and come back for whatever is left later. You went from the eight where it didn't work to the seven, which is where you just take what you can. You know, um, there might be a little kitty whispering information to you, the queen of wands, or to a fire sign you might be doing. Telling you it's better for you to go back to your point of origin, right? Try to figure out a way to delegate and discuss things with the people you've had conflicts before, or else you're still going to keep getting halted by somebody who wants to make you fat and not let you get exercise or work or some shit. I don't know. Or someone who overly spoils you just to keep you in place. You know, they act like they're doing you a favor when they buy you a burger off the dollar menu. And then want to act like you owe them like a lobster fucking dinner, you know? Like, I fed you today. You fed me a goddamn McDouble. Give me some Popeye's chicken, motherfucker. Like, at least make it worth it. Yeah, you're just taking what you can, and you're moving what you can. Family, friends, associates, thoughts, whatever. Um, you're leaving your problems on that boat, and you're carrying something else so you can start anew elsewhere. Ugh. Okay. Catalyst as well as the final result. I think you do want to work some stuff out. Not just because there's potential, but I think because you see potential there, and it's just like, I could do this, too. I could do this, and then I could be settled, and I could have a family of ducks, and I can look really fucking proud of my ducks, man. I'm gonna build me a family of ducks. Look at that empress. She is so fucking happy, you know? I don't know why her sleeves are different for each arm. Now, like, look at that. It's, like, really fucking different now, you look, now that I'm looking at it, you know? I don't know why. But I just caught that, so yay for me. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Hmm. Scorpio, that's your read right here, right? So, if you guys enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. You know, no pressure, of course, but I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys on the flip side. I love your faces. Bye-bye.